guys we're a long ways up this ridge and i've never heard or seen turkeys up here but there's a couple toms gobbling away over here i think i might try and call them in and shoot them with the pistol we'll see going to the left to get the high ground. Dang it. Yeah. <laughs> we just killed a turkey with a pistol guys I hit him in the chest that first shot was a good one and <clears throat> I wanted to make sure I got him this is a freaking high high mountain freaking turkey sorry I got my reed in my mouth so she's done ladies and gents First turkey of the year. Heck yeah, got a bird down. That was pretty cool. I just had my elk read, my Phelps elk read, and it's coming around the ridge right there. And I heard him gobble. It's like, oh man, this one should be easy to call in, you know, way up here on top of the mountain. I have to look to see what elevation we're at, but we're a long ways. Probably got a. Oh heck. Probably a 10, 
nine, ten inch beard on him. Pretty good spurs. But I have a pretty cool little setup right here. A couple down logs. I'll flip the camera around and show you guys. But yeah, I was hidden pretty well. Set my backpack right in front of me, kind of for a blind. Heck yeah. We went out this weekend. I brought the kids and Kels. Went and tried to get the kids some birds. And they missed. <laughs> but it was a good time. So if y'all are wondering what I'm using, it's uh, the father-in-law's pistol. It's a little Ruger 22 automatic. Well, you guys heard it. I was trying to get a couple good follow-up shots just because it is a 22. And normally with a rifle, I can flank them in the head and they're done. But I am right, right, in, right in the chest, right above where his beard comes out. And that's where I hit. So that first shot and the second shot, I was kind of holding on his body. But... Heck yeah, I think I got a couple bags or something in there. I don't know if I'll pack this whole bird off the mountain. I'll probably just take the meat and maybe the fan and the beard, but it's pretty awesome. Wasn't getting crap shed hunting, so figured I'd take this opportunity to get a turkey. But yeah, he's pretty nice tone. Pretty nice rope on him. Well, that Tom was right here when I shot him. He ran down and he died right in there. Probably a 25 yard shot. I was set up right behind my backpack. You can see the tripod on the tree there. Took a rest over this log right next to the tripod. Thumped him right in the chest. Pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna pull the knife out. Get them cleaned up. Yep, we're a long ways, so I'm just going to take the meat and probably the fan and the beard. Pretty awesome. Mountain bird. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to clean them up here, but uh, I don't have any bags or anything to put the meat in. I didn't want to get all over inside my bag, so got the bird loaded up on Eberly stock and... Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep strolling up this ridge. I think we got about another mile and a half, two miles. And then I'm gonna cut back on another ridge. It'll give me about seven miles today, so. So, there'll be about four or five of that with a bird on my back, but that's all good. Packed out bigger loads of elk corn than that tom, so hopefully we don't get too loaded down. Well, got you know, the turkey all cleaned. I just took the meat. You know, there's two breasts, two big turkey legs. So, got as much off as I could. And man, there's just that mountain bird that just doesn't have the amount of meat as the ones down low. I don't know. It just, I thought I heard something. But pretty cool. Yeah, like I said, it's the first time I've seen a turkey up this high. And, uh, Pretty cool to call them in, get it on video. For those of you wondering, yes, it is legal for me to shoot them with a 22, even a pistol. I know there's going to be a lot of hate. I've got it before. Um, we was out and we was hunting these turkeys in the field, and I shot one's head off with my seven mag. We was actually shooting guns that day, and these toms come out, and I shot one's head off like at 150 yards with a seven mag, and. I posted that, that as when I had Instagram, and oh man, the hate from the guys back east. <laughs> There's that's not turkey hunting and blah blah blah. I said I never said it was. I just said I shot a turkey's head off, you know, and it went. It got eight, just like this one's gonna do. Probably make some turkey nuggets, or probably save those legs and make some turkey noodle soup or something. I haven't had wild turkey noodle soup since my grandma was alive. Yeah. Has, I think I've shot just that one other turkey since then, but uh, pretty cool. Just letting that meat cool down before I put it in my pack. I, I have a dry bag, but I don't really want to put it in there and let it sweat. 
So I'm gonna let it cool down here for a few more minutes before I put it in my backpack and then I'm gonna get hiking. I tried, I started packing that whole tom out and man, it was all lopsided on my backpack and I was like, screw this, I'll just, the only reason I was, wasn't gonna do it is because I didn't have a bag and I thought all I had was my dull knife in my pocket. But it turns out I remembered I, had, I carry a, another knife in here, which is a Gerber. Um, I usually try to keep a knife in there with a lighter and some paracord and fire starter and stuff. But uh, anyhow, hopefully we find some elk horns. If not, it's the end of the video. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like this little quick mountain turkey hunt. And like I said, I was just hiking up the ridge and heard him and had my elk read and buying a harness. I was like, oh, I'll try and call him in and come in on a string. So. <clears throat> Anyhow, wish you folks good health and happiness as always, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.